Hey guys, just a quick video to let you know um, my camera is actually shit itself at the moment. The um, lens doesn't fully come out properly and it won't allow the camera to work half the time now. Um, I just forced it open and that's worked. Um, not a lot to talk about really, I'll probably get a load of scrap over today. Um, I'll go outside and talk about that in just a second. So today I only took in the um, big ass radiator out of that real backbuster of an air conditioner. Still got two small ones there. That was about oh, 30 kilos. There was four scrap lawn mowers. And um, only two of them were alloy bases, but for some reason they put the hole through a lot of some um, alloy scrap. So there was about 100 odd kilos there. And um, two car batteries batteries are through the roof at the moment about 45 cents a kilo and the average Commodore battery is about 13 kilos so that's about almost six dollars for stuff that people just throw on the side of the road what else do I take um, three old Holden radiators I didn't realize they were worth so much over a dollar eighty a kilo they have to be like the old copper cord ones though not the newer ones that are mostly alloy <clears throat> oh, I had another wheelie bin full of cans, but so I ended up with a neat little check. I um, had to sign somewhere to pay, but basically, if I earn too much over the ne course of the next year or so, I've got to pay tax on it. But I did pretty bloody good for the day. Um, for those who are interested in taking stuff in but haven't done it before, copper's on the rise at the moment, according to the bloke there, and um, batteries are holding pretty steady at the, their current price which is pretty darn good but um, otherwise other stuff's just worth holding on to according to him for a little bit longer oh, I've got a few more things to get rid of I'm culling back moles quite a bit of started digging into all these unknown ones I dug two out of there last night and just sent those for scrap because they were absolutely rooted but there's a few good ones that I haven't seen for quite some time under here that I'll have to get in and have a look at sometime soon, maybe this weekend. Got this ride on, I don't know what the hell to do with it. I um, sold it ages ago but the guy that got it only just fucked it completely so everything apart from the engine and the cutting deck cable is still alright but I might make some sort of buggy out of it, that'll be fun. Yeah. Really want to get down to oh pretty much half what miles I've still got. That'll keep me happy. And I'm making quite good money out of just pulling them apart, selling them for parts on eBay and then um, taking what's left in for scrap. So yeah, um, I probably won't be posting any more videos for now until I get a new camera. That might take a couple of weeks or I'll have to find a decent one that's cheap because I want like a digital camera that I can just record video with that way I can take photos of my ebay items and that so I'll have to get one soon otherwise I'll have to stop selling and yeah so thanks for watching also asked me um, about my um, vintage radios I had laying around I'm missing two of them I'm pretty sure at my father's house that was a little leather cased AWA and the other one was a valve powered um, Chrysler, Chrysler, whatever the fuck it is now yeah, this is a little um, his master's voice radio. That's a transistor one. Don't know what the working condition's like, but it's really nice and clean. Um, that was five dollars at a market quite a few years ago. I'll sit that there for a second. And that's a VK seven. 11 transistor 7 band it's in rather nice condition as well um, that opens up too 
I've never fired that up, but it's got some nasty ass D sized batteries in there I'll have to replace and fix up. But I dare say it would work with a little bit of care. Probably replace the electrolytics if they were no good, but I'd just try and start it up as is myself. And here's my favourite of them all. I found this out at the tip. I gave the bloke at the shop ten bucks for it. Really old Phillips radio player. Um, it's in really clean condition. It was filthy when I got it. It was full of mud and whatnot. I gave it a bit of a bath. It was beautiful boat light. Um, not too badly scratched. A bit chipped around the back. A few holes in the speaker cloth. It's all there except for the cord, but I'm not really game enough to play around with it to fire it up, so maybe one day when I, if I grow a big enough set of balls to do it, I'll have a go at it, but for now it can just stay out in the shed here and keep dry. Also in the line of old stuff, I found this fan at the Salvo shop, that was two bucks I think. Oh, it's still got the sticker on it. Oh, I thought it still had the price on it. It's in quite good condition. Just a little one. Oops, point the camera in the right direction. Still in its original box, so that'll be worth something one day. And I've got this big old, um, what do you call it, a pedestal fan or desk fan as well and that works quite nicely. I had that set up in my flat just to, next to the bed to blow some air in on those 40 odd degree days. Yeah that's about the limit of my old stuff that I've got laying around at home. I've got quite a few little black and white TVs like there, 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 there. Another couple under the carport. They're probably fucked from being full of water. There, there. They're just something that I've been collecting over the years, I don't know why, but they don't take up a lot of room, so they're not hurting anyone. But I'm going to have to get back into computers again soon. Um, I bought a motherboard off eBay last night. Um, it was an Asus motherboard with an AMD 64 3000 processor. I got that delivered for, I think it was 35 bucks. I think that'll make a nice computer to sell to someone. And I've got a few nice cases left over from when I went a bit crazy scrapping everything to build one into. I should have a couple of hard drives laying around and some other shit to put into it. So yeah, not a lot going on here at the moment, but um, we'll be just mucking around out in the yard and mucking around with the computers a bit and yeah, see where we go from there. Alright, thanks for watching.